Hi, everybody. I am joined today by one of my very, very, very good friends. And there's a lot of varies on that. So this is Kenny Biddle. You have met him on our channel once before. Uh, Kenny, can you just briefly introduce yourself to remind everybody whom you are? Yes, I am the chief investigator for the Committee for Skeptical Inquiry here in Buffalo, New York, or Amherst, more specifically. And I write uh, for the Skeptical Inquiry magazine, uh, both online and the print version. And I do lectures for them. And I talk about investigating mysteries and all kinds of stuff. And I investigate stuff like psychics. Yeah, that's why we're talking today, because Kenny... <laughs> do you get this question often or do you get the statement? It's not a question. The statement often from people who believe in mediumship that psychics solve cases with the police. Yes, I hear that a lot. Missing persons, uh, murders, kidnappings, stuff like that. I hear that all the time. Um, the problem is that I don't hear the evidence that backs it up. Yeah, it's always just some vague, oh, well, I can't talk about it or. Yeah. Uh, the police don't want to recognize this because if they did, then they would legitimize, legitimize the uh, psychic industry and on and on, excuse after excuse after excuse. Now, the excuse of I don't want to talk about it or I can't talk about it is the most common that I get mm -hmm. because I do go to psychic fairs and I do see signs up, usually handwritten, which is just to me, it just is unprofessional. But mm -hmm. um handwritten that they've solved missing person cases helped with missing person cases helped with murder cases and when you ask them like what what cases oh we can't talk about it i can't i can't tell you i, I don't want to talk about it so you never get information and you have to dig if you want to investigate and see if there's you know because my opening statement is always if if you have information that confirms that you solved or helped solve this case let me confirm it because if you did I'll say it, mm -hmm. but that's never the case. They don't want to give you the information. So I'm sorry I cut you off. Go ahead. No, well, it, that's exactly what I was going to say. I mean, if they could solve cases, wouldn't that be amazing? And if so, we would be using them for like solving yeah. cases. We wouldn't have court trials and lawyers and, and all that. We would just be like, yeah, you're guilty. The dead person mm -hmm. is telling you so. And here's the evidence. And here's here's the yeah, I mean, we wouldn't have all these missing children. No, you know, all these children any. that are kidnapped, abducted, and and or or, or murdered. We we these would be solved. Mm -hmm. These would be solved. We wouldn't have this right. this problem that we have where thousands of kids are gone and we don't know where they are. And cold cases adults. going back decades. Yes, they'd be solved. You know, but hey, instead you can figure out with your what your your dead uncle you know that loves you. From the afterlife, you can do that as long as you pay sixty dollars. Oh yeah, know, fifteen minutes. And but... he won't say any names or anything, but he'll tell you about how how he couldn't breathe a lot when he was um, right. at the end. And well, you know it... what? It's uh, it sounds like you know we're we're kind of being mean or we're really angry, and and that is the case. This kind of topic makes me angry. It makes because... me very angry, and that's why I have been all morning just like, oh my gosh. Well, this case this was given to me by a friend of our channel, Janice Boynton. And this came out, oh, did it come out today? Yesterday? Yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday. Okay. So there is a TV show, a morning news station. This is why we can't have nice things because these, this kind of crap is out there. And th um, so set us up, set this up for us, Kenny. What are we going to uh, look at here? Uh, so if we're going to look at the video, they're going to talk about, um, there was a nine-year-old girl uh, that was kidnapped, um, I think over last weekend. And, and she was gone for, I think she was missing for almost two days or a day and a half. Uh, they were at a campground and I'm, I'm just getting into it, uh, mm -hmm. just getting into the backstory. Um, but apparently she disappeared within a 15 minute period. Uh, mm -hmm. And there was a big search. Uh, there was some clues. The parents got a ransom note in their mailbox. Um, and they eventually, I think yesterday, yesterday, day before, I'm not sure of the date. Forgive me. I'm I, again. I'm still looking into this, but uh, the child was found. They went to somebody's house. They raided the house and rescued her. Um, so they found her. She was unharmed. She's good. She's back with her family. So happy ending to that horrible thing. Um, but then we see we're going to see this news segment that um, Channel 13 News in Albany, New York. New York. Aired. Yes. Um, 
they aired this segment uh, by a reporter named Dan Levy, and he promotes the idea that a psychic helped police and the family with this case, um, and that, that psychics were somehow involved, or a psychic was somehow involved with this, um, and that the police, state police, um, more specifically the New York State Police, because that's who we're talking about, uh, routinely consult psychics and soothsayers <laughs> and I mean, that word. <laughs> uh, i know like that that i had to stop and replay the video i was like did he just say soothsayer like, <laughs> who uses that term um except like <laughs> in, in in fantasy movies like dungeons and dragons and stuff like that. i don't i don't know but that's that's pretty much what you're going to see in this it's video okay I so i i with. had actually been following this case i had um uh... You know who it is? It's Ben Bradford has been talking about this quite a bit. And I've I've heard him, I think it's been more than a week now. And he was saying that um he he I think it was on Squaring the Strange, he was mentioning it again. He says that this case was solved by good police work. There was no psychics yes. able to you know, they didn't help at all. It was the the person who had abducted this little girl. I mean, she was gone for like 15 minutes riding her bike in a campsite and she kind of got out of view of her family. And then that's when she was abducted. And within like 45 minutes or so, they had the police there and they were on it. And uh, he says that, you know, the psychics didn't help. It was somebody came to the house, the guy who had abducted her and he put a note in the mailbox yeah. And I think camera. Oh, there was a police officer at the home supposed to be watching for it. He didn't notice anything. But I think there was cameras picked up neighbors cameras, you know, okay. across the street caught this person going to the mailbox, putting the note in. And then they were able to go to the man's house or he was at his mom's house. And the little girl was like in a cupboard or something. And yeah, she was she was as fine as you can be for being kidnapped. But, um, uh, you know. She's back with her family, as you said. Right. But this, now I'm going to play parts of this, you guys. It's two minutes long. I think I'm going to cut it down to 30 seconds or something like that. Pay close attention to the words that are being used by this Dan Levy person. During the course of police investigations, there are times information comes from people or places you might not expect. Yeah, that was apparently the case during that recent search for that little girl who was abducted in Moreau right outside the park. Dan Levy joins us here in the studio with that part of the story. Good afternoon. Good Dan afternoon, Levy. Sabrina and Mark. You know, before that little girl was found, both family members and police had conversations with a psychic. We're not crazy. <laughs> Her name is Christine Siebold Walrith. Ever since she was two years old, she says she's been able to see the future. I would say things that I, I shouldn't know, like, you know, I would be sitting at the window and I'd say there's going to be a car accident and it, pick out the two vehicles. And then five minutes later, they hit each other and there was a big explosion. There was a car accident. In other words, Christine claims to have abilities that go beyond ordinary senses. She is what many people would consider clairvoyant. When you're a medium, we talk to people on the other side. So we're psychic and we can talk to people that have crossed over. So when I talk to people on the other side, like I was telling you when I do a show, they come through and they tell me things that only the police would know. State police tell me it's not unusual for them to consult with psychics or soothsayers or anyone else who provides tips or useful information during the course of an investigation. State police also confirm Christine was in touch with them and with the kidnapped victim's family during the recent ordeal. I can't say a lot because there's a lot of agencies involved in it um, and if I say something it might cause some information to get out or something of that nature. In other words Christine doesn't want to hinder the ongoing investigation. It has been widely reported that other crimes may be connected to the kidnapping case. She points out information obtained from mediums like her have often led police to missing people to dead bodies or sometimes killers. My job is to help. You know what I mean? It's a gift that I, I've had since I was little, and I use it to help people. I use it to help find missing people. Um, I, use it, I use it a lot, and I use it for good things. And by the way, Christine also tells me that doing what she does really takes a toll on psychics. She says when she was thinking about this recent case, she was under so much pressure, she actually developed hives. Mark and Sabrina. Oh, my gosh. 
<laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. I'm allergic to that kind of stuff. <laughs> Everything about that just screams, please, no, no, don't do this. I mean, they just gave a, com- a two minute, 24 second commercial to the psychic who has shows. So obviously now her, her website is probably overrun with people trying to get into her shows. I, before you get to it, I'm going to say a couple things. Police oh, wait, had conversations wait. with the psychic. Wait, 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 wait. I want to correct information. Okay. Um, she was last seen on September 30th at 615 at a campground. Um, she was found October 2nd. Um, and then the uh, police arrested uh, a Craig Ross Jr. Um, who lived about two miles from them, I think. So I wanted to correct that information because I had it wrong. Um, but those are the dates where she was missing and then when she was found. Okay. So, go ahead. Thank you. Thank you so much. So this idea that the police had conversations with the psychic, I'll let you address that in a minute. Um, this other nonsense about it's not unusual to consult with psychics, the police say. No. She has contact with a family, which pisses me off big time. I wouldn't be surprised if she has contacted the family. And she has shows and this is a giant commercial. And my gosh, you get hives. What's this about the cars crashing? She says, I look out the window and I see the cars. I can pick out two cars and I can see that they're going to crash. And five minutes later, the crash. Well, what's going on out of this window? She's looking at the the cars are there for five minutes. Yeah. Like, why the hell did you not go outside and warn the people? What good are your superpowers if you're not going to use She's them? She's only two years old and she had and eyes. Just freaking sit there and watch like, oh, look, that car and that car, they're going to crash. Let's In watch. five minutes. Like, what the hell? Oh, oh my gosh. God, that pisses me off. <laughs> How dare she? That's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous, that statement. And the people in the comments on the video are all like, oh, this is wonderful. My wife does this also. And oh my gosh, you got to look into this psyche. It's like... We're, they're just coming out of the woodwork. It's just, no. Uh, okay. So tell me, tell me, Kenny. Kenny, please bring us back to me. rationality. You actually did more work than this journalist <laughs> did. And you contacted, took you a little bit to find the right troopers. Okay. Tell me what happened. So, yeah. So, I mean, the first thing I. I an I investigator. Did. What does an investigator I, uh, do? Let's investigate. Let's, let's verify the claim. Okay. Yes. That this this psychic had had helped because that's the headline the headline of it says psychic helps police so did did she actually help and my first stop is the state troopers uh, because that's the state police are the ones that were taking over the case um they were working the case so i went through went through various news articles found the exact county um went on to the new york state police website found the, the county group found the phone number to call and i called um i talked to two people uh the first two people i talked to could not help me um they didn't know much about the case or they weren't sure what they could say um so they put me through to uh officer stephanie hold on hold on where's my notes Uh, there's my notes stephanie o'neill which is the public information officer and she was awesome like she was really nice super nice talked to her for a little bit. And I just said, Hey, look, this is what I'm looking for. This is who I am. First of all, I'm not just anyone off the street. Um, mm-hmm. This is who I work for. I'm trying to verify because I saw a new segment that claims that a psychic helped with this, this kidnapping case. And I'm not looking for specific details. I'm just trying to verify whether this person helped the investigation. Um, and the first answer she gave me was very nice, professional, diplomatic. Um, and she explained that every tip that came in, they have to, they have to treat as fact, um, and they have to investigate it because they don't know what will pay off, what will not. So they have to do it. And she also noted that it doesn't matter whether it comes from, uh, like a regular person, someone that's a psychic because they get people. She said that the psychics call all the time. Anytime a case like this hits the news, psychics are always calling um and they're giving information so she went through all that and i said hey i understand i understand and i i get it you know you don't know what lead will lead to Mm -hmm. an answer um so then came back around and i said this person and she knew who i was talking about so she actually said 
oh, this is a Dan Levy story, who is the reporter that did that segment. Right. I was like, oh, okay. You said that pretty quick. Like, you know, this person. And she's like, yeah, this is a Dan Levy story. And the the psychic that he interviewed, yeah, I, I know who she is. Um, and she's like, well, I can I can tell you that the information, any information she provided, this specific individual provided, did not help the investigation. So that was clear. And she basically said, you know, is that is that what you're looking for? I said that that works. You know, that's that answers my question. Like, period. It, it answers it. Um, she did not help. Um, so I don't know what information they're talking about where I don't know where this reporter got this idea that she helped with the investigation because this is straight from the state police. Well, the psychic she, said she helped the psychic. That's all, that's all the, um, the news thing says is that the psychic tells the reporter that she helped and he called, he, he called, called the, the, the troopers, yeah. right? And now say, yeah, we can get into wordplay here. Okay, so yeah. what did the, so he did call them? He he called, yeah, because she was aware of him. The mm -hmm. the trooper that I talked to was aware of him. Um, but apparently, his wording is more that um, they take tips from psychics. Right. Um, they don't consult psychics. There was there was a wordplay there. Mm -hmm. It wasn't that the police reached out to the psychic. The psychic reached out to them. So that that's a big difference. The police weren't consulting her. <clears throat> but a psychic did reach out, did, I guess, give tips or psychic impressions or whatever she's calling it. But in the news segment, the reporter says other people like psychics, soothsayers, and anyone else, anyone, <laughs> anyone else that calls with a tip. Right. So there's no special treatment with this person that claims to be a psychic. It was treated as any other tip that came in. Um, the part that I don't like about this is that this reporter put emphasis on a psychic being involved and specifically right. the psychic that was interviewed. Um, there, there was no emphasis. There was no reason to to put any special uh, emphasis on her because she didn't help. Plain and simple. She did not help. So this is why it, it angers me seeing a segment like this, because there's wordplay going on. Mm -hmm. there's deception it's misleading it's it's the entire segment is misleading and it's promoting something that didn't happen and for a reporter to put that out on the local news i think that's just unprofessional unprofessional just, disingenuous yeah, just it took me five wrong. minutes five minutes to get through to someone that had an actual answer and i know he talked to her he talked to the same person i did but he 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 twisted it and I, I don't like that. That's and, that's and you know why I bet he did it? Because it sells. Yes. Clicks sell. If it was a headline like this child was rescued, psychics had absolutely no, you know, weren't able to help at all. And it was done with good uh, police work. And some neighbor across the street had a had a doorbell cam that happened to catch the person putting the note. And that's not going to necessarily sell. But the yeah. angle of a psychic helping who can't it's just it's who can't just, she can't talk about it it's it's just like oh i mean it, 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 the quote and i wrote the quote down and i'm gonna i'm gonna do my own version i'm gonna i'm gonna ad lib here and say that the quote is state police tell me it's not unusual for them to consult with psychics soothsayers or anyone else who provides tips or useful information during the course of an investigation so that's the actual quote from the news right segment and we can in, we can exchange any of those words to mean the same exact thing so i can say state police tell me it's not unusual for them to consult with uh, dog walkers um plumbers uh, auto technicians or you know anyone that makes up stories for children um during the course of an investigation if they call in a tip that's it it means the same thing you know, I, I, I love you kenny. Occupations. i and, love you kenny oh my god <laughs> It's it's just it's ridiculous. <laughs> and it it comes down to someone's exploiting this child's bad experience. That's what it really comes down to. Mm -hmm. This child was kidnapped from her family on a weekend vacation. And this this psychic comes in and tries to take credit 
Um, and, and the reporter is just as bad because he's promoting it. Yes, but they're he's just as bad. And that whole helping. TV station, they have no business airing this. When the guy comes to him and says, I want to do a story and here's my story, they should say, oh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Let's, oh, let's they, they the aired story. it. Oh, wait, the, the trooper says you didn't help at all. Uh, there's no story here and move on. That's it. That that to me is good reporting news like you should. But no, to exploit this, this child's bad experience, that's disgusting. Yeah. And, and a oh, nightmare for the family. Weird. And they just latched on and it and it conditions families, not necessarily this family who's got their child right. back, but it conditions families who are experiencing things of this sort in the future to think that this is normal behavior and that they should consult with the psychic. These psychics, they will say, I don't charge for this. I, that line drives me crazy because it's not about the money that they're charging the parent. Yeah. It's all about the media coverage because it's that was thousands yeah. of dollars right there for that media, for that psychic. She's going to sell out her next shows. She's going to ride this little news thing for years, probably. It's going to yeah. be on her website. She's going to be, oh, I always consult, you know, I help out, you know, and here's it, this one case. This see see the news gonna, segment? It's probably going to lead to my next, uh, my next lawsuit threat because <laughs> I'm going to write this shit up. <laughs> uh, yes, please do. Please do. I, I wanted totally to get it on my up. channel because I know that you're going to write it up, but it takes a little bit more time for you to get it on the thing. But oh my gosh, this makes me so angry. And somebody, well, people will be using this for years. Oh, I heard this yeah. segment on on the news about the psychic that that solved a crime. No, she did not. I wish she got hives. Yeah. I wish she, they she, all got hives. Oh my god! Hives. Like that's uh, she actually got hives from stress. Why didn't even include Whatever. that? Maybe she got hives because she was stressed out from being on TV because she knew <laughs> she was going to so. try to bullshit America by so. by doing this interview. <laughs> I, I don't uh, it's ridiculous it's ridiculous and, and it worked it worked this is happening all the time the media is responsible for this nonsense that's what i think because the psychics are going to try to get this on and they're going to try to get this on and most yeah. of them don't but this one did the, this one i'm did. sure she was one of 50 psychics who called in i'm sure i'm sure but this was the one that was at the phone ready for an interview like yeah yeah i'll come on tv but and he kept saying she says this she told me this she <laughs> oh, it was, it was it's horrible i mean it, it, the whole the whole situation here i mean and this is and and oh, this is your fault because <laughs> you had to send me i'm at home i'm eating lunch and i'm like oh this is a great day you know getting this stuff done psychons coming up we're working our butts off here making sure everything's done and then bing i get a text actually it's scooby-doo's laugh <laughs> that's my my ringtone and i'm looking at the phone and it's like oh susan sent me a, a video oh this happens near you and i'm looking at it i'm like damn it susan <laughs> there goes my afternoon <laughs> well it was my i was having <laughs> breakfast was it was good. It was no. I'm glad. I'm I like, are you on it? Good. Are you on it? Are you calling? I know. Oh my god! You're <laughs> I like, was gonna call. Are you calling the police yet? <laughs> like, yes. Well, you have a little more cred. You have a lot more cred, especially since you're well, you got that nice title and you're in New York. I'm like, this is in your backyard. And you're like, it's 400 it's miles four, away. It's, it's like it's four hours that way if I drive. <laughs> I'm like, it's not in my backyard, but it's close for, for me in california i'm still that's your backyard well yeah california is yeah huge um <laughs> but i mean it, it, this this case the kidnapping case does have a happy ending where the girl was found and it was found with good police work i think you you mentioned it already mm -hmm. I, I think you did good yeah. police work good detective work science science, science and problem. and and neighbors that are you know, paying attention and they've got their cameras yeah. on. If anything, this should be a, an example, of a commercial for the, for those cameras that are on people's doors, you the know, camera. Yeah. they should be cool. doing that. They should say, and another case is solved, you know, and here, yeah. this was, you know, this, we were able to, you know, I, I could see that being some sort of commercial that would have been a made a better, no psychic helped. But let me tell you about these ring cameras or ring or doorbell, <laughs> whatever the doorbell uh, name is 
be vigilant and a, a good Samaritan reported this. They went back and looked at their coverage and they, and they saw this and. Right. I, it's just, it's yeah. I'm telling it, you, Kenny, this is why we cannot have nice things. And this is why it's a perpetual problem because the media needs to get clicks. They need the views yeah. and the headlines are written in a way to make you click on the article. And all right. thank you so much for all your help. You're welcome. Thank you for answering my plea whenever I was like, anytime. Oh my gosh, this is going to be done. Oh, anytime. <clears throat> okay. anytime. All right. You know that. All right. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Bye bye.